is this Chevrolet's 2023 C8 Corvette Z06 or is it the E-Ray spied out and about? Well guys, I got some new information coming towards your way. With that being said, you tell me what you think. Let's go. Howdy folks, you want to see going to Speed 252 show, scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button. Definitely give this video a thumbs up so we can get more audience members to give us their thoughts on what they think they see. Also hit that subscribe button to become part of this awesome community because we would love to have you part of this channel. We would love to read your comments, so definitely those down below. And if you got an Instagram account, well, please do me a huge favor, go over to Instagram and follow me at SeagonaSpeed252, where you can also ask me questions and I can give you feedback. Definitely go check out my website. And if you would like to support the channel, I would definitely love to see my famous key tags, my nice, awesome, good, durable camouflage key tags on your key rings. With that being said, you guys, let's get into the video. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of See Gonna Speed 252. And I want to thank each and every single one of you for pushing that play button today. First of all, let me give a shout out to my man, Keith, at Corvette Blogger, for bringing this awesome information today. Definitely go check out his website. So, there's been some speculation about possibly us seeing an E-Ray out there and about, or could it be a Z06? Now, I placed some pictures here on the screen that you will see pop up every like four or five seconds so you can kind of get a visual of what an actual Z06 may look like and what possibly they say could be the E-Ray. Now with the E-Ray pictures you can look for the Z06 symbol which you don't see or you can look at the exhaust and notice that it's completely different from the Z06 that is in the previous pictures and you can also see two knobs or knobs on the back of the E-Ray which is what they could possibly be considering calling the E-Ray. So with that being said you guys Let's go ahead and hop into some of the information that we have gathered and that Keith had gathered to maybe see whether or not this could be a E-Ray being tested out and about, or this actually still could be a 2023 C8 Z06. Now, if you guys leave your comments down below, I want to read them, so I want your thoughts on whether you think this is an E-Ray or a Z06. There are some other information that came out about that could possibly also may be able to tell us what this car could be. Let's go. One of our spy photographers recently captured what they think could be the Corvette E-Ray driving around Detroit without a single ounce of camo, but a lot of us aren't sure if that's the case. The uncamouflaged prototype, which is wearing an identical wide body design in the upcoming 2023 Corvette Z06 with the Z07 aggressive arrow, and it looks like it's rocking a set of carbon fiber wheels. But with an exception on this car, the exhaust setup which you will see right now, is definitely completely different than the Z06 that was unveiled back in October. However, guys, we recently learned that the Z06 reveal with the Chevrolet has still active Z06 prototypes with the corner mounted exhaust. Apparently, the center mounted versions was an innovative Triumph tips came towards the end of the Z06 development cycle. That might also reflect the photographer's opinion that the engine sound is very different than the raspy and high revving Z06, which instead was also the older exhaust setup that they changed the sound. So let's talk about that for a few minutes. We all have already seen the Z06 have been unveiled in October. As you see the picture on the screen, you can see the exhaust tips right where Chevrolet said they was going to be because they wanted a certain sound with this car. Now, could there be other prototypes out there, the Z06 still out in the world with them testing this car and making sure this car is as great as it can before they sell it on the market? Absolutely. As you look at the Z06 right here, you can see right underneath that fan or the wishbone that people call it, you see the Z06 logo. Now if we go over to the other pictures of the possibly Z06 or the E-Ray, you do not see a Z06 logo down underneath. Now, 
if Chevrolet already unveiled the car to the world, why don't they have Z06 down there? It would make sense in my personal opinion, if you already unveiled the Z06 and you're not trying to hide the Z06 anymore, then why not have the Z06 logo underneath? And these exhausts are definitely look similar to the Stingray and not the current Z06 model. Now, in my personal opinion, this is obviously a convertible. So if you think about it, with the convertible, right, you cannot see the engine at all unless you obviously have the keys to the car and you do the convertible conversion and you can pause it in the middle to see what the engine looks like. Could it be possible that this is actually an E-Ray and Chevrolet is deciding to keep the motor covered with the convertible and only test the convertible so we don't see exactly what the engine is because if the engine is an LT2 it's most likely a hybrid you know or the E-Ray if it's you know obviously the 6 the LT6 then it's possibly the Z06 and there are certain things that obviously are sharing parts for instance it is sharing the wishbone that the current Z06 has it is sharing the Z07 package it's not sharing the wing at least which is something we don't see. It's not sharing the wing of the Z06, but it is sharing some of the aero packages and the carbon fiber wheels. That doesn't mean this not could not be the E-Ray because it could be Chevrolet testing out the wide body and certain things. We all know that the Grand Sport, the C7 Grand Sport, have shared some similarities to the Z06. So we honestly don't know if this could be an E-Ray or a Z06. Now you could look at these pictures really hard and you tell me down below what's your thoughts if this is an e-ray or the z06 but i'm going to give you some more information about this vehicle and see if we can get some more concrete information now we have been wrong in the past on cars before while at first a glance i thought it was a black c08 i'm actually starting to think it is a shadow gray which is also canceled at the end of 2021 model year i've adjusted the colors levels in photoshop as a best i could to reveal this color also check out this car as the wishbone is in the body color which will be the first time we have seen an uncamouflaged Z06 with this design. Another reason why we think this possibly could be a Z06 prototype is the carbon fiber wheels which I spoke about earlier. You can only order them in a Z07 package at the steering wheel inputs the updated account for the lighter wheels. Most likely the wide body E-Ray will be seeing a own unique setup of wheels just as Chevy will design in the previous years. So I'm hoping that you can take a look at these photos and you zoom in, blow it out, whatever you need to do, and leave your comments down below if you actually think this could be an E-Ray, because the exhaust is definitely, definitely the same as the Steam Ray. And we all know right now the Z06 exhaust is in the middle and Chevrolet took an enormous amount of time to try to find that perfect sound for the Z06, whether the exhaust was going to be like the Stingray or whether the exhaust is going to end up being like it is right now, which you see in this photo. Now, once again, it could be the E Ray that they could be just testing out a different motor, and obviously, they don't have to cover up the motor like they do with the coupe because the coupe you can just look inside the glass and see whether or not it's an LT2 or an LT6. With the E Ray, and this could be a convertible that they're testing out. We can't see what the motor is, we can only hear what it sounds like. And obviously, in this video, I have no sound of this car, so we don't know what it actually sounds like. But I will admit, I am hoping that the E Ray comes out and it has some similarities, some similarities to the Z06. Not a lot, because in my personal opinion, I know some people who are wanting the E Ray. Are hoping that it comes with a Z06 wide body and some people are hoping that it actually comes with a Stingray body kit with the two electrical motors in the front and an LT2 engine. Now at the end of the day we all know that a Z06 is going to be a monster of a car and it's definitely on back order. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. I would definitely want your comment down below whether or not you think this is the E-Ray or you think this is a Z06. And if you actually in order to get an e-ray leave your comments down below with that as well definitely give this video a thumbs up so you can push up in the algorithm so we can get other people's opinion definitely hit that subscribe button and become part of this community because i'm telling you right now this is one of the best communities to be a part of i really love each and every one of you and i hope you had a great christmas and a great new year's we're back at it and definitely if you have an instagram account go over there and follow me as well and if you like to buy and support the channel go to my website and buy one of my awesome amazing key tags